The end of the year always has me thinking about where I am and where I'm going. And I know I talk about this subject a lot, but believe me when I say it is vitally important. My name is Seth. I'm a full-time author. I've written 26 books, 27 books. I've published most of them, and uh, I make these videos because there are a lot of authors out there who feel lost, and I don't want you to be one of them. Today, I want to talk about an unavoidable truth. You see, every one of us is on a trip. We're all on a path moving towards a destination. This is true literally for anybody. You might feel like your life is stuck, like you're not going anywhere, but the reality is that you are going somewhere. Every moment that passes, your body gets older. Every moment that passes brings you one step closer to your inevitable destination. And I'm not talking about death. I mean, yes, we'll all get there eventually. Unless, of course, somebody figures out how to upload our consciousness onto the internet and allow us to live forever. Though that would, in a sense, be kind of like death anyways. Um, and I don't think I'm going to participate in that experiment. But death or potentially eternal terrible life aside, I'm talking about a different destination. One that is just as inevitable. You see, when you wake up tomorrow, you're going to be in your surroundings. It's, it's kind of weird to say this, and, and it's a little bit hard to wrap your mind around, but the place you're going is where you will be. And stick with me, because this is actually really important. I know I've told this story before, but I think it's worth repeating. There was a moment in my life where I was sitting at my computer in a little room in my house, and I was waiting for a video game to load. And as I was looking at that screen, I had an epiphany. This happens sometimes in life, where the pressures of the world conspire to give us a flash of insight into the future. And that's exactly what I had, a flash of insight into not just the future, but my future. And I thought to myself, oh no, in 10 years, this is where I'll be. This is what I'll be doing. Sure, the game might change, but I'm going to be sitting here looking at this loading screen. Nothing meaningful in my life will have changed. What I realized in that moment is that I was on a path. I was on a trip. And its destination was the same exact place that I was. This is the principle boiled down. If you don't take action, you'll arrive exactly where you are. Now, it's important to note that if you do take action while you'll arrive somewhere else, it might not be where you want to be. I try to remind my kids of this all of the time when they react to situations in a way that's not helpful to them or anybody else. I remember doing this as a kid, and while it's a lot easier to see when you're observing from the outside, this is an important lesson. If something happens in your life and you react to it, in a way that's not helpful to you or to anybody else, you're still gonna get an outcome. You're still gonna get a consequence. You're still going to arrive at a new place. It's just that you might not like where that new place is. As I said, every time that the year rolls to its end, I start thinking a lot about where I am, where I'm going, and where I want to arrive. Because it's only through conscious thinking and decision-making that we can control that outcome. This is a universal principle. Because you could pull anybody off the street, and you could sit them down, and you could interview them about their life and their relationships, about their plans for the future and the steps that they're taking. And within reason, you'd be able to predict where they're going to end up. So why can't we do the same thing for ourselves? Why can't we take a self-assessment examine where we are, examine what it is that we are doing, and try to figure out where we're going to end up as a result. If you do 10 push-ups every day for the next year, this time next year, you're going to be stronger. You're going to have arrived at a place that includes greater physical strength. If you write one page every day between now and next year, Guess what? You're going to arrive at a place where you are a better writer. But if you don't, if you keep putting it off, if you don't take the action, 
if you don't step onto the path that leads to being a better writer, you're not going to be a better writer. To repeat one of my favorite quotes, every action I take is a vote for my future self. Every time I act, I'm taking a step forward on a path that either leads to the outcome that I want or it doesn't. As you're considering what kind of author you want to be, as you're considering how you want to improve or change your life, I would encourage you to think about it concretely in terms of action. What path are you going to walk? Fixing that determination firmly in our head goes a long way to helping us get there.